Hi guys, welcome to the Cow Whispers Creative Cards. I'm Michelle Wright and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Well, it's Friday, so that means it's Tip Friday and today, let's talk adhesives. Everyone has their favorite adhesive and you're not gonna change anybody's mind, but I wanted to give you just a little bit of information here to help you decide if the reason you're using a specific adhesive uh, is because of cost if it's really costing you as much as you think. Uh, we always are looking for two different things with adhesives. We're looking for the quality and the quantity, of course. I will tell you that there are certain times when I want to use my Tombow glue, and there are certain times when I want to use my Snail, and there are other times when I want to use my Fast Fuse, because Fast Fuse is perfect for items that have texture. I mean, it's just super, super sticky, and I love this product. A lot of people think the Fast Fuse is so much more expensive than the Snail, so they'll take the risk of it not adhering as well because they don't want to spend the money. Well, in actuality, that's not the case at all, and let me tell you what I mean. Obviously, the Tombow, it's going to depend on how much you use and how often you use it, so that's kind of a no-brainer. The Snail Adhesive, if you buy the original Snail Adhesive, it is a little less expensive than if you buy the original Fast Fuse. There's about a $2.50, $3 difference, okay? So when you purchase a new Snail and a new Fast Fuse, they come preloaded, okay? So there is a difference, but when you buy the refills for the Snail, and for the fast views, it equates to less than one cent per inch for both of these products. Because on the fast views, you're getting more product on the refill. They come with the same amount originally, but on the refills, the snail comes with 13 yards and the fast fuse comes with 21. So if you actually do the math, they are ex almost exactly the same cost to use the fast fuse and the snail. So I'm telling you that because if you want that extra adhesive to hold things together, you're not spending any more money for your fast fuse once you start filling your container with the refills. Um, I will also tell you that just so you know that the glue dots are under two cents a piece. So if you're a big glue dot fan and you're scrimping, they're less than two cents a piece, okay? The dimensionals, let's grab our dimensionals here. We have two types. The three eighths inch dimensionals are a little over a penny a piece, okay? A little over a penny a piece, and I use every bit of it, as you can see here. The mini dimensionals, what a steal. You get 720 mini dimensionals, the quarter inch size. Those come out to less than half a cent a piece, less than half a penny a piece. So I'm telling you this because sometimes we think we have more money invested in some of our adhesives than what we actually do. If you're going to go through the trouble to make a card, make sure that everything you put on there stays on there. There's nothing worse than receiving a card and things are falling off. I want to end this with, I know there's people out there that love the fast fuse, but getting it to work is difficult for them. Here's a little trick for you. Most of our tape dispensers we hold like this. With the fast fuse, put your fingers on each side. You want minimal pressure. Just, I'm barely, and then act like you're making a tick mark. Barely. You see how that works? So that's your secret. Don't push down hard on it. Hold it by the edges like this. Minimal pressure, and then check mark off. And that's how easy it is. So I, ho I hope that makes you look at your adhesives a little different. Gives you something to think about. Remember, quality and quantity, they kind of go hand in hand. So you kind of have to look at it from every angle. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this uh, tip Friday, I'd love it if you give me a thumbs up. 
If you're looking for an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I sure would love to be your gal. Any questions, comments, please just post them uh, below, and I will be happy to answer everything. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and happy crafting.